Hello, I am Squid of Love. Welcome back. Salvaging in Star Citizen is going to be one of the many activities that players will be able to perform in order to make a living. What makes this activity unique and very interesting though is the fact that Salvaging in Star Citizen, unlike other games, is going to be a full career. And players enjoying that kind of gameplay will be able to turn this activity into their main occupation into their main way of making money and progressing in the Star Citizen universe. In order to be a good salvager, you will have to spend most of your time out there in space looking for derelict ships, wrecks and other interesting locations that will earn you a good amount of money from salvaging them. The fact that you will spend most of your time out there looking for these locations means that salvaging has some very strong ties with exploration and it is a very good activity for those players and organizations that want to combine these two activities, exploration and salvaging, in order to maximize their profits. The bulk of your profit as a salvager will obviously come from the scrap that you will be able to salvage from these destroyed vessels from these wrecks. But once in a while, if you are lucky enough, you will be able to discover some viable items, some cargo left behind, sell it and boost your profit. It will even be possible to discover exploration data on these destroyed vessels, claim them as your own and sell them in order to not only maximize your profit but also put your name on the discovery. After all, we have examples of this in the Star Seeds and Lore and more specifically regarding the discovery of the Oberon system. This is exactly how it was discovered. The exploration vessel that made the discovery was damaged and its owners died before being able to deliver the exploration data and make the discovery known. It was actually a salvaging ship and its crew that discovered the wreck, claimed the data as their own and made a lot of money from the discovery. In general, there are going to be a lot of opportunities for aspiring but also experienced salvagers in order to make a good profit, make a decent living and continue playing the game the way they like. But where we should go as a salvager in order to find these opportunities to find these wrecks and make a lot of money. There will be some encounters dedicated for salvaging that will appear, that will spawn in the universe, in the Star Citizen universe, and these encounters are what salvagers should be looking out for. First of all, like with asteroid fields for miners, there will be debris fields for salvagers in order to make some profit. I am assuming that these debris fields will be spawned as encounters in the game in the Star Citizen universe and salvagers will have to perform exploration in order to discover them. The lore behind these fields will be that some kind of a battle happened between two opposing sides and this is why there are a lot of wrecks in the area. Salvagers will have to be fast in order to discover these locations and take advantage of all the wrecks, take advantage of all the viable items and of course cargo that maybe has been left behind. We have said after all before that in order to be successful as a salvager you will have to be faster than the other salvagers. Another and very interesting encounter is the discovery of derelict ships. We have recently seen the work of the developers on creating damage states on capital ships so this is a possible encounter that players will be able to discover in the Star Citizen universe and also a very interesting one. Imagine discovering a huge capital ship that is abandoned, partially destroyed and going in there in order to discover if there is anything viable left or in order to take the viable parts out and salvage them for profit. This experience is going to be amazing not only because of the exploration factor in this gameplay but also because you will never know what you'll find in there. There might be aliens, pirates, other salvages in there and you will have to be ready at any given moment to fight for your life, to defeat your opponents and get out of there with the viable stuff. Another way to discover eggs and salvage them for profit will have to be by discovering player ships that were destroyed in one way or another, maybe in a PvP battle, maybe in a PvE battle, or maybe an exploration vessel that didn't manage to navigate the jump point back properly and was destroyed or was damaged heavily and the crew died or had to abandon it. The developers have mentioned they will to add a timer for this kind of situation so players won't abuse the system. 
So if for example one of your buddies attack and destroy the ship of another player, you will have to wait for this timer to expire in order to salvage it. You will be able to salvage it, but you will be marked as a criminal if you do it before the timer expires. This is going to be another form of salvaging that I like calling aggressive salvaging and I'm pretty sure that many pirates and criminal organizations will perform in order to make a lot more money. In order to perform this activity properly, like with any other activity in Star Citizen, you will need to invest in a dedicated salvaging vessel. And the only dedicated salvager we know at the moment in Star Citizen is the Reclaimer. The Reclaimer is a massive salvaging vessel with equipment proper for this activity, proper to perform this job, this profession and help you make a lot of money. It comes equipped with a multi-tool that can grab Spaceborne Salvage, take it inside the Reclaimer where there are a lot of equipment that can process the salvage and of course store it in its massive cargo. This ship is built in a way that can take a number of very useful equipment that can help you protect yourself from pirates, from other hostile salvagers or equip it with tractor beams in order to get chunks of the wreck you are salvaging faster inside the reclaimer and process them in order to make more profit. Floodlights to illuminate the area of the salvaging operation make the life of your crew members that are assisting you out there much easier. With proper scanners it will be possible to discover derelict ships and wrecks faster and go there in order to salvage them. But also with drones you can search big vessels, big capital ships if you are lucky to encounter one for viable items in their interior but also for intact parts of the hull that you can cut from the main vessel and take it inside the reclaimer. It also comes equipped with a support vessel, a man cutter that can be used in EVA salvaging and of course it carries tools and supplies to help your crew members in their salvaging efforts. EVA salvaging is another interesting way to perform this activity and it will help new players that want to try salvaging but don't have the necessary capital in order to buy a dedicated salvaging vessel. You don't really need to have a dedicated salvaging vessel in order to perform EVA salvaging and the name is pretty self-explanatory. In order to perform that kind of salvaging all you have to do is get out of your vessel, go to the wreck and start cutting off the intact parts of the destroyed vessel. This is going to be possible later in the game when we will have salvage guns that players will be able to use in order to cut off certain parts of the destroyed vessel and tear them in for profit. Of course this process will take a lot of time but if you know where the most viable parts of the vessel are you can cut them off, take them inside your vessel and get out of there as fast as possible. Although in order to perform EVA salvaging it will not require you to have a dedicated salvager, it will be nice to have a vessel with enough cargo so you can store the salvage and transport it in a space station in order to sell it, but also a vessel that can be equipped with a tractor beam will make your life easier and the whole process faster. Hopefully in the future we will get more vessels dedicated to salvaging so players that really love this activity and want to perform this activity as their main occupation they can choose from a number of different vessels some cheaper, some more expensive with more potential and perform their favorite activity. It will also be nice if we could get a starter vessel for this activity that will help players make the first steps in salvaging like with the prospector for mining. This is all we know about salvaging in Star Citizen at the moment and I have to say that the depth of this activity and the fact that it can be successfully combined with exploration has me really excited. Thank you very much for joining me. If you enjoyed the video please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. I am Squid of Love and I will see you next time. Bye bye.